What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to yet another edition of my Let's Play of WWE SmackDown Shut Your Mouth on the PS2. It is Armageddon 2003, and we have a six-man Hell in a Cell match to attempt to survive, so that should be illuminating. First match on the card is Kevin Nash versus Lance Storm. Yeah, okay. Jeff Hardy, Spike Dudley, for what I'm assuming is the Cruiserweight title. And then Angle, Taker, Rock, Lesnar, Austin, and myself for the undisputed title in a Hell in a Cell. Here we go, Armageddon. I was given a prudent piece of advice in the comments yesterday, and that is, because this is such a fucking clusterfuck of a match, I should totally have a submission and totally try to tap somebody out as the finisher. So I took that advice, and my, my finisher is the powerbomb into the Cloverleaf. And we're going to hope that that will serve me well enough to win this match and retain my title. So that being said, is there anybody backstage to discuss things with before this match kicks off, before this chaos? You know what? Fine. Fine. I will talk to Devon. I'm sick of having him backstage just lurking around. I will talk to his dumbass. I will not give him any money and we'll move on with our lives. Very impressed with my performance, as you should be. As you should be. What do you want? Listen to me. Give me money. I know, I've already been through this before. Been through this, uh-huh, yep. No, I've already heard this whole thing before. I'm not gonna give you any money. It's not gonna happen. Alright, hopefully that means no more Devon backstage. Anyway, let us go defend our title here at our Armageddon. Apparently Kevin Nash is your hardcore champion, so, alright. Jeff Hardy still... You're a cruiserweight champion. The undisputed champion, maybe for the last time, I've been champ since Mania. This is like the end of the year, so it's been going pretty well. Uh, and we're going to defend here in this nonsense Hell in a Cell match against five other top-class competitors. And if I could tap one of them out, like, real quick, then perhaps I, I can retain. But it is first pinfall or first submission is going to win this thing. And having played other six-man matches, it's going to be about as chaotic as you can expect. Hard to see because it's Hell in the Cell. And going to just attempt to get that finisher as fast as I can as Austin laying the smack it down. Um, but yeah, it's going to be chaos. So uh, there is news to discuss here as I at attempt to not lose. Uh, and one of those news stories is that apparently Emma was on Twitter last night saying that she's been cleared for six weeks. Six weeks she's been cleared, and they have not uh, put her in anything besides being a special guest referee at a house show. That's kind of crazy. Like, what? The fuck? So, that's weird. Uh, obviously, it is Tuesday. Have not watched Raw yet, as I usually watch Raw uh, in the evening times on Tuesdays with the boys. So, haven't watched it yet. Uh, but I did hear that, as you might expect, Raw was Roman. Uh, they, they opened the show with Roman and closed the show with Roman, and that whole thing is frustrating. It's like, look, I understand you want him to be your top face, you know, of the company, but it's pretty clear that he's not the top face of the company, and you're going to continue to push him as the top face of the company is asinine. Like... Thankfully, they at least realized with the Usos that you can't do that. And they turned the Usos heel. And that, that fucking worked. Like, people are booing the Usos as they should be, because they're heels. But they don't want to, like, you look at the top scene for the top, you know, belt for Raw. Look at all you got. It, lo it looks like, to the average mm, casual fan, that it's all heels. But clearly, it's not all heels. It's supposed to be Roman as your big conquering face, and that's not working. It's not working. So, that's funny. Uh, I need to get a finisher here. Like, if I, if I can get to a finisher first, then I think I'll, I'll be okay here. I'll get somebody to tap out. Tap or snap. Five star slug splash on big evil. He's gonna reverse that, yep. Yep. Every time. Every time. But if somebody else gets off a submission before me, then... STUNNER! How mad is Stone Cold? What? Brock 
is taking my taking my shit. Nope, Austin interrupted. Yeah, this is just really hard to keep track of what's going on. I have a finisher here. So let's see if we can get somebody to tap out. Anybody. Doesn't even matter who. Just give me a second to actually hit in a kick and not have Brock kick, kick, my, kick my ass here. Which is what's happening right now. Look, just let me get up. Let me kick fucking Stone Cold. I can't even face somebody the right way to get a finisher off. Nope. Give me somebody. Austin, I'll, I'll take Austin. There we go. Submission. Submission maneuver. Make him tap. Make him. He didn't tap. What the hell? What was that? He didn't fucking tap. Whatever. Damn you, Angle. Great. So that was my whole big plan, and it failed. Which is a damn shame. Taker has a finisher, so... Who just tapped? Who's your champ? Did Brock win? Stone Cold! Stone Cold. Stone Cold is your new undisputed champion. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I'm not even sure what happened there. How Stone Cold executed my plan and tapped somebody out, which is bullshit. But I kind of expected that. And unfortunately, or I guess, fortunately, whatever, that's not how I run this show. It is one time I get one shot. And if I don't get it, we move on. So I held that belt from April until December. That's a pretty good run. And now, of course, Stone Cold has my title. And we're going to have to go try to get it back before um, this season mode ends. Uh-oh, here comes Vince. Vince is going to be happy? Not happy? I don't know. I really don't know. Congratulations, Stone Cold. Great victory. But shouldn't I get my automatic rematch clause at the next pay-per-view, which should be the Rumble? Don't make me win the Rumble again. Seriously. I think I won it last time. I don't even, actually, actually, I don't remember. But I think I did. No, wait, no, wait. Hold the fucking phone. No, no, no. I won the belt at the Rumble. That's right. That's right. I wasn't in the Rumble. I won the belt at the Rumble, and then I've been champion since January. Can't wait until next year. Have a happy new year, folks. Ah. Uh, if you hear some buzzing in the background, they're doing lawn care again this morning because it rained all damn day yesterday, but I had to get this video done, so uh, I'm going to have to live with it, unfortunately. So, Raw, January 2004, as we're barreling toward Mania, which should be the end of this season, I'm pretty sure, uh, in 2004, uh, here in September. Now, you would think, having lost the belt, I can exercise my rematch clause, but here I am fighting Bradshaw, uh, which I would assume would be for the European Championship? Happy New Year! A new year for the WWE! Do you have any resolutions? Uh, no I don't. What? That's a weird segment. Slug is here and ready for action. He is pissed off that he lost his title, um, last night. And there's Ric Flair! Ric Flair who believed in me! And, yeah, there you are. Alright, damn that punk. First contender match tonight. Facing Bradshaw, that is that is seriously no problem. No problem. And then I get my shot at the Rumble to win it back. So, cool. I'm pretty sure I can beat Bradshaw, of all people, in this game. Pretty sure. Oh, hey, no Devon hanging out. Fan-fucking-tastic. Fan and here we have Trish Stratus yet again, who she has this restraining order, and I'm not the Undisputed Champion anymore, so she's going to say no chance in hell, get out of my way. Again, for like the 40th time. Whatever. Here we go. Number one contenders match. Let's see if I can make Bradshaw tap out, as I have not had time, obviously, to go back and change my finisher back to the Salt Shaker. Yes, sir, indeed. I've still got the Intercontinental, and the European, and the Tag Team, Champions, Ships, Belts. Pretty sure I do. So... Uh, I'm not, I don't have any, uh, lack of belts. Really, Bradshaw? Anyway, uh, one other thing to discuss, I suppose, was that there was a new trailer for the 2K17, uh, My Career Mode. The, the, the Be a Paul Heyman Guy mode. That they said, hey, you have the option to either go through NXT or to be a Paul Heyman Guy, which is pretty cool. Um, and most of what they showed in that trailer 
was pretty cool. They kind of gave us a little bit of a glimpse at the promo system, which still kind of don't understand how that works. Um, but I'm very curious to find out. And uh, yeah, unlike their trailer for you know that that launch trailer, they didn't botch this one. There was no botches in this trailer that that, that I saw. I didn't you know I didn't go through with it with a fine tooth comb or anything, but it looked pretty solid. And uh, there's a solid knee plus there. And I enjoyed what I saw, so I will give it that. Uh, I'm not going to do any kind of a you know reaction video or anything. There's not too much. To really react to like most of what they had in there looks solid all i can hope because certainly you could have done a trailer for last year's my career and made it look cool with the you know the five cut scenes you had in there uh but once you played it for you know a couple of hours you, you realized it was pretty lacking and certainly as someone who did like 50 something hours of that game uh it was seriously seriously lacking uh in what they said it was going to be so, because there is no showcase mode this year, one has to hope that all that extra effort going into my career is going to make it pretty awesome. And certainly, I'll be playing it when it comes out. Uh, so, I guess, look forward to that, I suppose. But, first of all, Bradshaw is getting in way more offense than he should here. Way more than he should. Just knock him out. Go for this nope rope break. Taken way longer to get a finisher than I had anticipated here. So, there it is. Now, we, uh, kick him in the gut. Nope. Nope, come on. I can't get the gut kick. Can't get the gut kick. Do not get a fin- No! No, 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 no! No, Bradshaw, no. No, Bradshaw. I don't think so, Bradshaw. He's taking off the turnbuckle. I do not want to win this number one contenders match or lose. There! No! He reversed it! God damn, Bradshaw. He used his to reverse it. Which is not good for me. Not good for me at all. This is going. Like, seriously. Fucking Bradshaw. The dude I've beaten with no problem. How many times? And now he's all of a sudden he's better than me? Like. I don't buy it. I don't fucking buy it. I really don't buy it. Five star. Slug splash. It should be over. Over. One count. Oh, this is gonna go fucking sideways. I'm gonna go all the way sideways here. We're having a competitive ass match with Bradshaw. A mid-carder. This is not even world champion JBL. This is, like, Justin Hawk Bradshaw. This is Acolyte Bradshaw. And I'm having a match of fucking my life here. What the fuck? Fall away, Slam. He's hitting his five moves of doom here. What is going on? I can't reverse anything. This is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. I don't understand. The game wants me to lose. You can always tell when the game wants you to lose. It's really fucking obvious. Alright, outside of the ring, I can hope not get pinned here, so that's a plus. But seriously, I need to build up a finisher before he does, which is not going to happen here, and then hit that finisher in the ring before he does, which might not fucking happen. So, let's, uh, stomp on him here. And hit that low blow, ding! Do it again. Ding. He's just stomping a mud hole, walking it dry. Oh crap! He's got a finisher. He's got a fucking finisher. So he's gonna do it. He's gonna use his finisher again to reverse mine again, which is garbage. Absolute garbage. Go to the top. All right. Here is the moment of truth. Can I get in the gut kick? Before Bradshaw gets in the ring. Moment of truth, folks. Oh, come on! Fucking A. Crossbody! Hit Hebner. Didn't mean to hit Hebner. Shit, shit, shit! Five star slug splash! Woo! That should do it. That should do it. That should wrap it up. 
That was so close. The game wanted him to kick out there so bad. That was so close. All right. Now give me a fucking heart attack here. I am now the number one contender for my undisputed title once again. Fuck off, Bradshaw. Ball game. And that will be a bit of a short episode today. A bit of a little bitty tiny one because I've got things to do. I gotta go to get my teeth cleaned. You know, real life shit in the way. So, uh, tomorrow we'll head into SmackDown uh, as, as we make our way towards the Royal Rumble and find out what's gonna happen. Oops. Yes, save. Yes, pick a slot. Don't fuck this up for me. Um, there we go. I hit no by accident. Shouldn't have done that. Just to save. Anyway, that's it. I'm Attack Club. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.